morning one and all myself dr akash anand working as an assistant professor in the department of civil engineering kits college of engineering kolapur so today we are going to look into another aspect of highway engineering that is highway drainage in today's uh, session we are going to look into the definition or introduction of highway drainage what are the importance of highway drainage and what are the various causes of uh, moisture variation in subcrete soil so this is the overall content of this unit so first we have the introduction and importance of highway drainage system so as we all know the soil foundation is very important while uh, the construction of uh, any structure okay so same goes with the highway in, uh, highway construction as well so the bearing capacity is a very important term is a very important aspect that has to be uh, fully looked uh, looked into while uh, uh, constructing the road now the thing is uh, whenever there is a, a, a lot of uh, water getting accumulated on the surface of highway it has the tendency to seep through the layers various layers of uh, pavement so the bearing capacity of a soil foundation reduces the moment the moisture content in it starts to increase okay and uh, the water uh, which is which has accumulated or the standing water on the carriage way or on the road is very dangerous for the high uh, vehicles that are moving at a very high speed so highway drainage can be defined as the process of interception and removal of water from over under and vicinity of the road surface now what are the various type of destructions uh, caused by water on the highway so it uh, compromises with the road surface uh, like softening the road surface constructed of soil or of uh, uh, sand clay or gravel or water bound macadam erosion of the side slopes is quite common forming gullies erosion of side drains etc it also softens the subgrade soil and it decreases its bearing capacity and the chances of landslides and slips also increases okay so that is why it is very important to provide uh, proper highway drainage system like pro uh, for surface drainage we can provide uh, sufficient uh, slope or we should uh, i should say we can provide uh, cross slopes or camber okay so that all things can be uh, done for the proper removal or uh, having a controlled access on the surface water now what are the various ways of protect, uh, protecting uh, the road surface against the effects that we have just seen in the previous slide so the interception and diversion of surface water which would otherwise flow across the road or along it and it will lead to erosion interception and rapid removal of the seepage of subsurface water proper soil treatment and change of the water course so these are some uh, of the important ways of protecting the road against the effects that we have just seen now now what are the uh, various importance of highway drainage so highway drainage is required in order to deal with or in order to nullify or i should say to counteract the effects or impacts due to the water and moisture variation that are listed here so road surface becomes very soft and it loses its strength the road subgrade layer may be softened and its bearing capacity is also compromised there is a lot of variation in the moisture content in the expansive soil that causes variation in the volume of subgrade and thus it leads to failure of the road presence of moisture at the freezing temperature may also damage due to the frost action erosion of side slopes side drains and formation of gullies can also result if proper drainage conditions are not maintained then flexible pavements uh, failure by formation of waves and corrugations is due to pro, uh, poor drainage also then formation of potholes that we have seen as a part of highway distress uh, for in pavement materials then uh, failure of rigid pavement by mud pumping so these are some of the importance of uh, uh, highway drainage that why it is important in order to deal with such issues that we have mentioned here now what are the requirements of a highway drainage system now the surface water from the carriage way and the shoulder has to be effectively drained off without allowing it to percolate to the subgrade layer it should not go till the bottom most layer else it is going to have a very major impact on the surface of the road 
then surface water from the adjoining land should be prevented from entering the roadway. The side drain should have sufficient capacity and longitudinal slope to carry away all the surface water collected. Seepage and other sources of underground water should also be drained off by providing subsurface drainage system. Highest level of groundwater table should be kept well below the level of the subgrade, preferably by at least 1.20 meters. Now, what are the various causes of moisture variation in the subgrade soil? So, moisture variation in the subgrade soil can be grouped as follows by free water and by groundwater. So, by free water, uh, we have the seepage of water from the high adjacent land to the road, penetration of water through the pavement and then the transfer of moisture from the shoulders and the pavement edges. And by groundwater, we have rise and fall of water table, capillary rise from the lower soil level and transfer of water vapor through soil. So, same can be seen in the figure that we can see here. So, in this figure we can see the rainfall, okay, the rainwater is pouring down and from the high adjacent uh, uh, land, okay, higher adjacent land the water is coming down, okay, that we can see here. And then uh, we can say uh, we can see the actual water table level here. That is the normal water table uh, level. And then we can see the upward movement of the water. Okay, that is the upward movement of the water because the seepage is uh, coming from the higher ground level. Okay, and then uh, the new or the uh, raised water table can be seen here, which is shown here the dotted line. Okay, so this is how uh, this uh, moisture variation happens. Okay, so this is one of the examples that we have uh, shown here. Then the amount of water in the subgrade soil at any point of time can be calculated as given by this equation here. So W is equal to A plus B plus C minus the summation of D plus E, uh, D, E and F. So, here W is the amount of water contained in the subgrade soil at any time of the year. A is the amount of water infiltrate, uh, infiltrated uh, into the subgrade soil during rainfall. B is the amount of water seeping towards the subgrade from the adjacent higher ground. Then C is the amount of uh, water coming to the subgrade due to any or all of the following reason that can be due to capillary rise, rise of water table and also it can be due to the transfer of water vapor due to differences of temperature in upper and lower soil layers and D, E, F are respectively loss of water from the subgrade due to flow away uh, towards the lower adjacent ground, loss of water due to evaporation and transpiration and loss of water due to percolation downward. So, this is how the uh, uh, amount of water in separate soil can be calculated at any point of uh, time. So, here we finish our uh, module 1. Uh, in the next module, we are going to study about the surface drainage system. Thank you.